All right, B-Roll Beaver here again, telling you about codes. From Friday to Sunday, if you use code BEAVER30, you can get 30% off your next order at Advanced GG. And if enough people, like I said last time, use that code, we too can get our own flavor. We can get toast on like one of those tubs. That's crazy. And if you're in America, you can use code GAMINGBEAVER free samples to get free samples. Maybe you just want to try a few. I would just use that. So I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who support this channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next uh, B-roll. Bye. Do I need that much tape? Always, Wendy, I always need that much tape. Hello and welcome to the second Jurassic World Dominion well, Jurassic Unboxing, I think we're calling it. We've got, we got like an intro and everything and it's very professional. So, well in the last video, if you haven't checked it out, do. It's like, it's there. Yeah. And we unboxed, you know, one of the titular characters in Jurassic Dominion, that being of course, Rexy. But we have something extremely special today and I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Whitney, catch the excitement, look. <laughs> yes, then we've had dinosaurs and that was all 2015 Jurassic World was. And yes, we've had humans, which is what Fallen Kingdom brought to us, humans and dinosaurs. But there was one main component that was missing from each of those that was given to us in the past with Jurassic World and Lost World and even Jurassic Park 3 gave it to us. And that was, you guessed it, vehicles. <laughs> just look over Whitney, just literally holding the camera like this, and just like. <laughs> oh, you boy. It's just, just you're like, I don't care, Jim. He's a cutie. He's a good boy. Anyway, again, these toys have not been released in the UK because. Ah! But we have our connections, Guan Chi. Guan Chi. Do we manage to secure one of the, what I am assuming is going to be like top quality, the most most wanted kind of toy nope. coming out from this set? So much so, Max is off to go get one. Presenting the beautiful. <laughs> Yeah! Here it is! The capture and crush truck! Beautiful! Get a good look at it! Yeah! It looks so cool! And, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm so, whether this vehicle is actually in Dominion or not, I couldn't care less, dear! Because the actual vehicle that we've been given as a toy is everything that was what Kenner was to a kid and it's fun it's practical kind of even if it's screen accurate maybe it probably is but it's all about how it works for a kid how they play with it how it goes and it has so much here if we look take a look at the back of them i mean if you ever look at the front you've got like it comes with a dinosaur as well which is great because normally they'll be like yeah you have to get that kind of separate but no they actually give you a raptor so it has like this crane thing it has like a launcher with missiles it has like this cage at the back a destructive front there's just so much to it and not only does it have a i think it has like netting let's take a look at the back of the box so you can see the raptor slams into the front of it there you've got like the front bit comes off You've actually got two points where you can actually put the missile, depending on what you're shooting at, which is really cool. And goes all around. And here, actually, is uh, the scan code. Scan code! <laughs> there it is! Woohoo! Oh, it is on the thing. Okay, we need to get a close-up. There it is. So, let's not waste any more time and get it out of the box! <laughs> Thumbnail. There's one, two, three, four, five! Ah, I can't count. Nine. Ooh. Oh, oh, well, the raptor's out. Oh, do you have, oh, you have got, you have locked in on the bottom. I'm gonna get more boo-boos. No. Sweet. It's such a shame because the box art looks so good there. It looks awesome. Will... Ah, this is how King Arthur felt with the bloody sword in the stone. <laughs> Where's the rest of the missile? <laughs> All right, look at you. Right, okay, so this is how it comes. It comes with this, oh, hold on. Oh, oh okay, there's blocks to hold it on the uh, on the thing, apparently, okay. So there we go. Oh, yes. Oh, that's, 
That's good sounding. And then I'm assuming if we click this, Hey, 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 look at that. What's really cool about this, not these things, you've got this missile launcher that I, we can just put the missile in like that. Oh God, that's probably gonna fire miles, isn't it? Ready? Whoa! As we just have a look at the truck, you've got like a, a bit at the top, which, or a bit of the side, sorry, I should say, where you can plop it in. You can plop it on the top or you can plop it on the back. And I don't think it really matters what it is. So, I mean, yes, you could put that on the top and you can have the crane dangle in the rafter. That is so cool. And it rotates all the way. Look at that. Wow. And it easy to come off? Yes, it is. You can put, you could even put the crane if you wanted on the side. Obviously there's only so much you can really do with a crane on the side, but they're there. <laughs> so really you're probably going to put the crane at the back, but it's also the same with the missile launcher. You plop it in there, like left and right you can go, but if we actually stick it on the side, you're going up and down. So if you're really excited, whoa! Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I've lost my missile. <laughs> I really hope they do more. I hope this isn't like the best that they have to offer. I mean, if it is, it's really good. But you know, with Jurassic Park, you had the Explorer and then with Lost World, you had the whole RV set, which was this massive compound. Let's have a look at the Raptor for a second because we haven't even looked at this. These are the new Raptors that are, well, I'm assuming this is just like generic Raptor. It's not an, it's not an Atrosa Raptor, it's just Raptor. It's sort of praying. It's putting its hands together like, you shall be good. So you got articulation in the head. You can like rotate. Can you, you can do up and down as well. Yeah, I'm sure his mouth's gonna open. Yeah, look at that. This, this guy's so cool. This being the new thing, you can see where they've just like carved into the back to be like, this is where we're putting the code now. Oh, no, that, that's the back. Okay, you lift that up. There's the code. Scan the code, guys. Can you get it? And it's, it's actually way bigger than I thought it was. Like there's a lot of substance that goes into that. Like the Jeep comes along and then he's like, no. And then he gets grabbed by the claw. And then the claw picks him up, puts it into the back. Pegs? Those pegs are for human characters to sort of stand in. And I'm assuming that's what it is, because if I look at the raptor's peg, like feet, he's got knee holes. And then the pièce de la résistance. Yeah, got stretchy rubber. This is awesome. So what you do is you pop that over and hook that onto that one. And then there you go. You got like a, you got a raptor in a cage. Kind of, it's not really, it's probably gonna get out if I just shake it up. It's almost, it's almost there. Yeah, freedom. But you've got like loads of detail in the, in, oh God, there goes the Raptor. <laughs> you've got loads of detail. Like the steering wheel moves. You've got like a little computer there and everything. So the beauty of this is that you can have it any way you want. You Let's say you want to capture dinosaurs. Well, you put the crane on and you don't even have to have the gun. It can just be like some construction vehicle, what have you. But let's say maybe it's a hunted thing. Well, you could take the crane off, pop the missile launcher on, put a dude in, and then he's, because you've got these handles here, he can be like going around shooting dinosaurs. They have released a vehicle kind of wanted to compare it to something that's almost undefeatable and that is the Jurassic Park Explorer. Here it is. Both big chunky vehicles. I like them chunky. Well I can't talk for this one too much because I haven't seen the movie but I'm assuming kind of accurate to what appears in the movie but each one has extra special bits, like, you know, this giant missile launcher that you can put on different areas of the vehicle. And this one, of course, with the flippable DNA launcher that, yeah, there you go, that fires missiles. And it really feels like Mattel looked at what Kenner did and went, yeah, they had it right. Just have loads of fun with this. And for the first time, I can actually honestly say, yes, if you're using this, if your kid's using this, it's Jurassic Park. That's all they can do. But this thing, not only does it have like Jurassic World logos on it and stuff, but it has a crane that you can move around that's really easy to use and a missile launcher that fires out bits of damage, not just one, but freaking two bits of damage that can go. A rotating little steering wheel that, okay, that one did have, and, Unlike this one, they modeled the underside. The only thing that I can say, and really, 
it's it's not a, like there's no need for me to even say anything like that. It's me just wanting more. It's not the best because it doesn't beat the Lost World uh, VR set. You know that whole like compound control compound. If it had some lights in it, like actually shone, like a little battery pack or something that sort of stuck on the top or inside, and that could actually shine a light or something like that, or maybe some vehicle sounds. That is literally the only thing that could make it better. But I know adding those to it would increase the price. And for what this is, it's freaking sweet. Two or three of these, just like going around, you know, if like kids are friends and stuff, maybe they've each got one and they just set out on a mission to like capture the dinosaurs, stuff like that. It's, it's, I can't say anymore. It's just freaking amazing. If you haven't got it, if you're a collector, go buy it. If you're a kid, go buy it. If you're a kid, go ask your parent to buy it. Hold on, I can't, I can't aim like that. So I'm gonna have to put it on the side. There we go. And now I can aim up and Oh yeah, look at that view. We've got the friggin' T-Rex. Let's compare it to the actual T-Rex. For scale, because we haven't really done this. Here's the T-Rex. We got like an actual playset now. All it's missing is like a person. I already know they're making a Claire Deering and an Owen Grady sort of figure, as well as some mercenaries, or you know, even the previous Fallen Kingdom playset, like characters you could use. And then the T-Rex can be like, ah, ah, or not. Yeah! And then the raptor, while it's eating the people, the raptor can come around the side and go pyaw, pyaw, and then eat the dudes in there too. So, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like until you know, there's loads more Jurassic World Dominion things come out, and of course we'll cover those in the channel. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye. <laughs>